Hello everyone, welcome to This Week in TV. It's our fifth episode. Thanks to everyone who checked that episode four online. We appreciate it and we also appreciate the feedback. So definitely keep that coming. We've got a huge show to get through, so without further ado, let's get into the main headlines. Making news in This Week in TV. Channel 7 Chief Executive David Lecky is even grumpier than usual at the moment, hitting out at Yana Vent in a letter to the Sydney Morning Herald last weekend and having a go at his programmers in private. We hear that Lecky is furious. Seven programmers, including Tim Warner, had the rights to two of the most popular shows this year and let them slip away to the opposition. Seven had an option to buy So You Think You Can Dance from Britain, but it went to ten and became a smash hit. Seven also could have picked up Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares from the US but failed to see that it would attract the kind of audience it presently enjoys on Nine. This Week in TV can exclusively report that when the AFL footy show returned this past Thursday night, before the show started, all the audience had to sign waivers saying they didn't mind appearing in the Gene Simmons reality TV show. It was explained that after the show goes off the air, they'll be filming a segment for the Family Jewels, Gene's own reality show. After about 20 minutes of Q&A with the panel, they started filming the fake segment as if it was on the footy show. Gene came out and proclaimed that he'd bought the Carlton Football Club. It went about 20 minutes and is expected to air in this season's Family Jewels in the US, which started this past week in America. Well, Channel 10 Melbourne news reporter Cameron Bowe found that reporting live from the Grand Prix on Friday wasn't as easy as it looked. He was upstaged by an excited punter trying to interrupt his cross. But Cameron, without missing a beat, uh, reported back to the 10 News Melbourne studio and swiftly elbowed the noisy bloke right in the ribs. Let's sit back and enjoy this great clip. Most of the day, in fact, up until two and a half minutes to go in the I final session, the when he uh, then <laughs> lost it, obviously, with uh, idiots like that hanging around. But, uh, yeah, he lost it to uh, McLaren's Lewis Hamilton, who has picked him with the fastest lap time of the day. Ferrari's Philippe Massa has the third fastest time, but some challenging conditions on and off the track, you can take my word for that. Uh, the four track temperature got up to about 48 degrees at one stage while that northerly wind was blowing plenty of debris onto the track. And you've got some excitable fans, obviously. What can they expect from the next two days? Well, one of them can expect a, uh, a pretty <laughs> close encounter with me after this. No, we're um, expecting plenty. Kimi Raikkonen, he's going to lift his game. He's only fifth on the timesheet at this stage. Well, we've got two more races from the V8s. That's going to drag more people through the gates. But for the Glamour set, and I can assure you, he is not one of them. They're all at home getting ready for the Grand Prix ball tonight, which is uh, promising to be one of the social highlights of the weekend. All right. Cameron Bell reporting live there from Albert Park. Thanks, Cam. We'll be keeping an eye on those stories over the next few weeks. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this. We'll see you after the break. It's This Week in TV, Episode 5. The world's number one selling home computer is now in a family pack, the Commodore 64, plus data cassette and joystick, four software programs including Introduction to Basic, a teach yourself program for the whole family. The Commodore 64 family pack, a value of $700 for just $499. to This Week in TV. It's our fifth episode. We do thank you for joining us. Now let's get into the top ten shows for this past week. We've had a brand new number one. Who knocked off the cricket? Let's check it out right here on the top ten of this past week. the number one spot this week. Let's take another break and be back with more right after this, including our first ever giveaway. 
And of course, the Australian Idol dates and rehearsal times right after this. It's this week in TV. See you after the break. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. Welcome back. It's This Week in TV. It's our fifth edition. Now, here's your chance to win yourself a brand new DVD. It's the 100 Away Romances DVD. Now, we're giving you the chance to win this. Now, don't forget that we've got a big, big week of TV coming up from Sunday, March 30th. It's the return of Grove Live on 10. We've got the new season of Gladiators on 7 at 6.30. And, of course, the Thursday of that week, we've got uh, Kate Ritchie, who plays Sally Fletcher. It's her final night on Home and Away. So we're giving you the chance to win this Romances DVD. It includes the pilot episode from way back in 1988. All you've got to do is answer this simple question. Now, to enter the competition, what you need to do is, when you're watching the show, click on the account name, which is Bassam77, then click on Send Us a Message, and then send us the answer to the question you now see on your screen. And that question is, Kate Ritchie was one of the original Home and Away stars. Who is the other star, either name the character or the actor, that is left in the original cast of Home and Away? First one with the correct guess will win the that DVD. It's all with thanks to This Week in TV and interactive-productions.com.au. Well, uh, usually we finish the show with our outtakes for the week, but this time around we've had so much to get through this uh, episode 5. We're going to run through the Australian Idol dates, the rehearsal dates and times. There's some international destinations for the potential idols to get through to Idol 6. So sit back, relax and enjoy these. We'll see you next time right here on This Week in TV. Goodbye. Well, Mark Holden's been booted from the judging panel and Andrew G might not return to co-host, but Australian Idol 6 is shaping up to be huge. And we've got all the audition dates and times right here for you. In Los Angeles, Kyle Sanderlands will be along on Sunday the 13th of April at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, 7000 Hollywood Boulevard, California. Doors open at 8.30. He goes over in London on Saturday the 19th of April at the Cumberland Hotel, Great Cumberland Place, London. Doors open there at 8.30. Now for the Australian auditions in Newcastle, Broadmeadow Racecourse, Darling Street, Broadmeadow, registration 8.30am to 3pm, and that's on Sunday, April 6th. Over in Darwin, the Crown Plaza Darwin, 32 Mitchell Street, registration starts at 10am right through to 5pm, and that's on Sunday, April 13th. Over in Cairns, the western entrance of the Shangri-La Hotel, the Marina Cairns, Pierpoint Road, registration 2am to 8pm, that's on Tuesday the 15th of April. Over in Albury, the Albury Convention Centre, Swift Street, Albury, registration starts at 10 in the morning right through to 5pm on Sunday, April 20. Over in Hobart, the Hobart Function and Conference Centre, Elizabeth Street Pier in Hobart, registration 2pm right through to 8pm, and that's on Wednesday, April 23. In Albany, at the Albany Town Hall, 217 York Street, Albany, registration 2pm to 8pm, that's on Thursday, May 1. In Perth at the Ascot Racecourse, 70 Grandstand Road, Ascot. Registration starts from 8.30am going through to 3pm there. That's on Sunday, May 4. In Melbourne, the Melbourne Park Function Centre. That's on Batman Avenue in Melbourne. Registration 8.30am to 3pm. There's three dates, Friday the 9th of May, Saturday the 10th of May and Sunday the 11th of May. In Adelaide, the Adelaide Entertainment Centre, corner of Port Road and Adam Street, Hindmarsh. Registration 8.30am to 3pm on Sunday, May 18. Brisbane at the Suncorp Piazza, corner of Little Stanley and Glen Elk Street, South Bank, registration 8.30am to 3pm, that's on Saturday, May 24, and Sunday, May 25. In Sydney, Australian Technology Park, Bay 4 Locomotive Workshop, Garden Street, Everly, Sydney South, registration 8.30am to 3pm, Saturday, May 31, Sunday, June 1, and Monday, June 2. They are the dates, and just remember that you must be 16 or over and under 31 years of age as at June 30, 2008. Good luck.